Okay, in the last video we looked at uh, shapes. We looked at um, outside shapes, so it would be outside lines uh, that make up this apple. And then we also looked at the inside, so the shaded part. So we've got the outside shape and the inside shape. And of course, this, these two drawings here, the, the pepper and the apple, were kept flat on purpose because we're just using them as exercises for drawing. So uh, another time-honored uh, practice that, that artists like to do is to practice drawing the contour, the outside shape of their objects, um, as well as the inside shapes. But uh, let's talk about the contour of the outside. I could trace this, and by tracing it, um, it's actually not a bad idea to do for fun. And also I get to feel that shape with my pen as I go around. You could use a pencil, you can use a crayon, you can use anything you want. Let's try to switch it up a little bit. So there I have the contour or the outside shape. Now let's do it again and just leave that there and go ahead. I'm going to go fairly quickly. In high school, my, my art teacher had us do a lot of contour drawings and uh, she would time us. <laughs> she would time us like we were doing like math, a math test, a time test. Not a completely accurate drawing, but I'm not, not that worried about that. I'm just getting kind of used to the idea of the scissor. Now I'm going to do one where I don't pick up my pen at all. She would have us go as slow, as slowly as we could. You could almost couldn't stand how slow you were going. I tell my students uh, a great way to learn about their bicycle it would be to to draw it. Sit in front of your bicycle and draw the entire thing or just the gearing, uh, the thing that you want to learn how it works. And if you can draw it, then you really start to look at it very closely. And it's a good clue to, you know, how the, the chain works on the gears and uh, the whole setup. Okay, so this is, this is the contour or the outside line drawing. And um, the last part of the art bite for today is you can do a blind contour where um, you don't get to look at your your paper so uh, I would move you know move this away so you can see it set my scissor somewhere now I'm not allowed to look at my drawing only at the scissor and the goal here is to move your eyes as slowly as you can now weird things will happen because I, I can't look at my drawing which means things are going to be way off. And uh, there's lots of other tutorials you can look at too about blind contour drawing. But another great way, another great way to uh, practice your drawing. So that's your art bite for this weekend.